Hi there, and welcome back for session number one of The Value of Quietude. I named this session The Noise That Lies. I think I'm uniquely qualified to speak to you about this topic because um, of the noisy world that we live in. Yes, um, there is noise in our industrialized world. There's cars, there's buses and phones and alarms and machines and, dare I say, rude people. But the noise I speak of isn't that noise. It's the noise that's on the inside of us. That noise comes from what I call the soundtrack of our lives. The noise that comes from constant rejection. Growing up from conception all the way to my adult life, I dealt with that rejection in one form or another. And it was a seed that was planted so deeply in my heart that it caused me problems the whole time of, of my whole life. So um, I just like to ask you, has there have been times where you've had this problem for yourself? Um, do you know other people that share the same problem? What does that noise inside of you do to you? That noise that I'm talking about is the one that lies to you. It tells you that you are too much. It tells me you that you are not enough. It tells you that you will never be enough, never be good enough, never be too thin, too fat, too rich, too poor, too something always to something enough. That noise begins to get to you after a while. That noise that lies about who we are brings us to the end of our hope. Unless, unless someone like myself or who I would call the Holy Spirit brings that to your attention, comes along, helps you to realize that that idea about your hope being ended, that's a lie too. Because the end of our hope actually can be the beginning of our hope. When you get to the bottom of the barrel, you've heard it said, I know you've heard this before, when you get to the bottom, you've got nothing else to do but to look up. So during these sessions, um, I'm gonna encourage you to look up to look up and not look at yourself the way that noise inside of you see, is seeing you or telling you, but look at yourself in the way that God sees you, in the way that he created you, in the way that he made you. And it doesn't matter, short, tall, thin, fat, rich, poor, any color, it doesn't matter. These things don't matter. What matters is that we know what God thinks about us. So I'm not going to push real hard on that, but I would like you to just consider it. So um, that's the end of this session. I just want you to know that there is a noise that's inside of you. It has lied to you. It has made you feel less than. It has made you feel like um, you'll never quite measure up. you never be as, as good as someone else. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to stop now, and um, I hope that you will come back for the next time. Um, the next time, if I can get my papers apart here, for session number two, the title is Cave Dwelling. And so, it will be a little bit more in-depth than right now. So, um, I guess this was a little bit more extension of the of the introduction. I want you to know where we're going. So thanks for joining me. Come back next time for session two, Cave Dwelling, and I'll see you then. Bye now.